What is going on, Collectors Optical 20? Back for another video review today. Peacemaker has been released. And uh, if you're interested, I believe he's still available. But even if he's not, just uh, save this link. Come back every uh, so often because Big Bad Toy Store does that. If you are, haven't been following my channel, if you're not paying attention, I have been posting all of a sudden in-stock items that are waitlisted in Sideshow. For example, Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, Andrew Garfield, and Black Panther, which are both waitlisted at Sideshow, and they're in stock at Big Bad. So if you're in, you know, in a market for a figure that might be waitlisted or sold out, just keep an eye on that or just keep an eye on the channel because I, I consistently post that there. However, let's talk about this Peacemaker. So he had significant upgrades a few months ago. They, they announced it. Uh, rolling eyeball system, which I think works perfectly with this figure because he can give you different expression. He already has two. Uh, they upgraded the mouth plate, basically the bottom part, because the other one is kind of like screaming. Then they decided, you know what? He's going to be a neutral pose. So he deserves a, you know, kind of like a neutral head sculpt. And I think this head sculpt turned out to be fantastic. Um, they captured John Cena's likeness to the T, the jaw, the, the eyes. You can't really, I can't really tell, but he also had interchangeable helmet, which initially his helmet wasn't even that chromed. But now they change, man, it's, it's just, that tongue thing is weird. But I like it. <laughs> I like the fact that we got the tongue instead of not. Uh, it gives you some wacky poses or, or some weird poses that you normally wouldn't get uh, like this. It's uh, weird, but I guess it's fine. Uh, he also comes with an axe and a sword and a gun that you could not take out. Which is kind of strange why you can't take out the gun. But apparently Warner does not allow their action figures to have gun. Is that the reason why we didn't see more of the Suicide Squad 2 figures? Perhaps. But I love this poses, man. He's like dancing with a straight face on it. Love it. Kind of just reminds you of that, you know, intro so here is one of those um, instances where he's going to take out his gun, but it's, you won't, you can't. Uh, now I'm interested though, as far as that gun and I see two, uh, you know, magazines in his belt. Could you remove that? Perhaps not. But are they just glued on? Hopefully they are, because if they are, you can just kind of pry it out, you know. Hopefully they are, they are fully painted and uh, glued on very lightly, I hope. Um, so the collectors would have a chance to actually use the gun. Because that just doesn't make any sense. But if, if it's not, I am certain that there's going to be a third party company that would tackle this gun, you know, if needed be. It's just weird that they never did that right like come on man come on it's peacemaker like if you are really that passionate about it then uh don't use any of those in your tv or you know in your shows so it'll be more movie accurate down the line don't make any show or movie with guns in it right like, come on uh now we got eagly here with uh i guess dual posts you can interchange his wings can you do that? Or there's two Iglys? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you got the spread uh, wing action going on there. And the one that's a little bit more tucked. It would have been nice if he had like a, a magnet that kind of just sticks into his, you know, forearm or shoulders, something like that. But this is a, I don't know if this is Photoshop or just good balance out there. That tongue is just really messing up with my head right now. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Like, there's why would anyone do that? You know, let's say this is a still from the movie. Why? I don't know. Another upgrade, by the way, is the elbows. This is now a seamless elbow, which aesthetically looks a lot better than the jointed elbows. Of course, on the jointed elbow... 
uh, you could leave him in this type of post without worrying about the rubber deteriorating. But since that's not the case, then, you know, you're going to have to suffer the consequences there. I, I would say in the future to get the best of both worlds, those arms needs to be removable. You know, you could remove it, uh, especially in this case where you could just basically on the bicep area have a magnet in it or just a peg that you could swap it out. Kind of like Thor, you know, Infinity War Thor where you could change the entire arm. In this case, just the bicep. But if you ask me um, which one do I prefer, I would choose in this case because this is heavily exposed the non-jointed jointed arm any day of the week even though you get that kind of weird you know fold by the bicep area i would still pick this because as you can see here it's that is a pretty tight bend on the elbow and i love that uh also i noticed that on his you know like his like i would say glove that is two part it looks pretty seamless. I love it. And the texture looks like a real leather. Color variation between his um, hands and a gauntlet looks pretty seamless. So I love it. The body proportion looks pretty good as well. The tailoring uh, looks on point. Everything I would say about this figure is a win, in my opinion. If you are a Peacemaker fan, I am a DC fan. I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call myself a Peacemaker fan. I actually like John Cena. Anyone who knows me, I've watched wrestling for a long time. I I don't follow it as closely now. Although I would, because I do have Peacock, I would still uh, watch some of the. Um, the pay-per-views because they're free. They're, I don't know why we call it pay-per-views. No one's paying for that anymore. But those, uh, yeah, quote-unquote pay-per-views. Man, I like this pose right here. It looks like he's dancing the intro dance with a straight face on it. That what makes it even more funnier uh, because of the straight face. Like this, is, he's just doing it casually. But yeah, overall, I do like the figure. I don't necessarily know if i'm gonna buy it i don't know man maybe i will i said i said i wouldn't buy falcon that he or captain america yet here we are so i wouldn't say never for this because it is such a good figure but let me know in the comments did you pre-order this are you interested in picking it up let me know and i'll see you guys in the next one